tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break faith. My life gets complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Like life can get pretty boring. Your parents are working, you're going to school, and basically that's it. For Maria and I, boring was so uncool. It felt like there had to be something going on. If only we could find it. Where is everybody? gonna hit that other car. Uh, okay, this is pathetic. I've got an idea. What were we thinking? I don't know. A trip down memory lane? What other choice do we have but to go home and turn on the tube? Not only is TV3 the hottest music video channel on your dish, it's where we're gonna find this city's next biggest stars. And one of those stars could be you. Come on, you know you've got what it takes. Make it through our auditions and we'll put you on TV. Better yet, win the contest and go to Hawaii. Hawaii? So like, what are you waiting for? Do you know how deadly the surfing is there? <laughs> That's all it took. From that moment on, Maria and almost every other kid in Elkford was convinced they had what it took to be famous. Maria was convinced the only way to win the contest was by hooking up with this act. In her opinion, they were happening. So, we happened to be around. Didn't I tell you they were awesome? Uh, just watch Amber. She's that cool high school chick I saw at Board Fest. Totally fearless. All right, yeah. Go, 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 before they leave. Hey, check them out. Please, what's with the blonde kid? Not bad. We're amateurs. Thanks. <laughs> we were just hanging out. We're a lot better when we really try. You guys auditioning for the TV3 talent search? No. What's that? What are you doing? Trust me. 
You live in a cave or something? I like it. She's fresh. Uh, what about this for the finale? After you finish, Amber, the dark-haired kid comes boarding in and does her stunts to end the number. We lose the blonde oh. shimmy girl, and we're in! Excuse me? That is so not gonna happen. It's my solo. Mine. There's no way I'm sharing it with some preppy junior high baby. What else was there to say? In my opinion, our big chance at stardom was finito. For Maria, it was a different story. I didn't know what she was gonna do, but I knew it would be something. She wasn't gonna give up on Hawaii this quickly. You can't just hide out here all day drinking smoothies and feeling sorry for yourself. I am not a baby. She's jealous of you, Maria. It's so obvious. Maybe I'm not as cool as she is, but preppy? Hello, I don't think so. You are so not preppy. You're way too good for those street wannabes. Trust me. Do you honestly think so? Tell the truth. Well, I mean, who really cares if they're hip and talented and might win the talent search? Just doesn't matter. That's what I thought. Waiter, another mango smoothie, please. Maria, it's self-serve. Hey! I bet Lena's never been accused of being preppy. Don't you love her outfit? It's so non-mall. And her hair. Do you think she sleeps on it like that? Hey, the new Lena CD. Just picked up a copy myself. Let's go, Zach. It's cool. You should get it. Oh, I, I wish I could, but I'm a, a little on the broke side. When I don't have the money for something, I use the five-finger discount. You know. Help yourself. Maria, she's talking about stealing. What's the big deal? Oh, I forgot. Little babies don't do things like that. They might get in trouble with mommy and daddy. I am not a baby. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I didn't think you had the guts. Told you I'm not a baby. Maria, what, what are you doing? Here, it's for you. Me? I couldn't believe it. I knew Maria was a show off sometimes, but lifting a CD was serious. Remember, you need edge to your act. We've got it. <laughs> nice try, but what can I say? We're just not looking for new members. But thanks for the CD. What? She the boss or something? Uh huh. Ah! Oh! That sucked! Totally unfair! She dared me to take that CD, and I did! And she still wouldn't let me in her stupid group. Can we just forget about the whole thing? You're right. Who needs them? Ugh. Ow! We should just come up with our own routine. We? Yeah, we already have half the moves. Why not, huh? And get even more humiliated than we were today? No, don't think so. What are you talking about? You're the one who said Amber was just jealous of me and that I was way too good for them. You just need to loosen up your dance steps. And hey, we're surfing the big ones. I didn't want to be the one to crush Maria's Hawaiian dream. But at the same time, I was starting to worry about her blind ambition. I'll think about it. It's not like Adam to be late for dinner. Yeah, I usually set my watch by his stomach. 
The more I thought about Maria shoplifting, the more weirded out I got. I kept thinking, what was going to happen the next time Maria wanted to impress someone? Was my best friend going to become a kleptomaniac? You're awfully quiet tonight, Sharon. Is something up? Huh? Oh, guess I'm not hungry. Sorry I'm late, Mom. Mmm, smells good. Do you mind? I bought some good news. Pardon me? He said he's got some good news. I got a part-time job. That's terrific, honey. Doing what? Working for TV3. You know, the cable station on King. Cool. Are you going to be working on the talent search contest? Yeah, they want someone big. Probably for security or something. I can't wait to start saving for that convertible. Well, congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Now, even Adam was going to be close to the action. And I'd end up being the no-name sister of the guy who's the bodyguard to all the big stars. Figures. It's easy. See? Nothing to it. Uh-huh. What? What's the matter? Oh, you're still mad at me for taking that CD, aren't you? Mad? No. Try stunned. Oh, come on, Sharon! What's the big deal? What if you had gotten caught, huh? It would be a big deal then. But I didn't. Oh, come on, Sharon, don't be such a wuss. Dance with me. Please? And I will never shoplift again, okay? <laughs> Was I really gonna be the only kid in school not trying out for this stupid contest? Oh, wicked! Yeah! Yeah! Did I really just stand by while everyone I knew went on to become superstars? You win. Show me that combination again. Yes! So, ready for the big audition? Where'd you get the rock star shades? From the discount store. The five-finger discount. <gasps> you stole them? Shh! Could you say it any louder? But you promised you wouldn't do it again. I knew I should have picked you up a pair. Maria, I'm serious. Maybe you should see a therapist. <laughs> Very funny. I think they make me look funky, don't you? I'm gonna look so plain next to you. Hey, maybe your mom's got something. What are you doing? She never lets me borrow her stuff. Nah, too old lady. Maybe we should just forget about it. Aha! Try these. They're just like the ones Lena wears on her CD cover. My mom just got these. I think they're from her new boyfriend. They're perfect. You have to wear them. I don't know. Well, it's not like you're stealing them or anything. It is only for a couple of hours. She'll never know. <laughs> Who isn't here? Check it out. I can't believe they're actually going to do the rah-rah thing. Sharon, hey! I didn't know you guys were auditioning. Do we know you? 
It's me. Boy, it's hot in here. <laughs> do I stink as bad as I think I do? Adam, this is your job? Dressing up like a giant TV? Uh, for your information, I happen to be the official TV3 station mascot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a pretty important job. Yeah, I'm here to keep the crowd happy. <laughs> well, you got us smiling. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Good luck. He must really want that car. Finally, we've got movement. How does my makeup look? Do I need more lipstick? You look fine. Oops! What? My mother's earring! No! Oh, man. I can't believe this. Can you see it? Oh, it's hard to tell. It's so dark. I knew I shouldn't have borrowed those earrings. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice act, brace face. I see it. Now, if I can only just hook it. Sharon, I've almost got it! Sharon, stop jiggling my arm! I think we lost our place in line. What do you mean? We were right behind the kid with the accordion. I, I know, but I don't see him. We were somewhere around here, weren't we? I don't recognize anybody. Hey, we were in front of you guys. Not anymore. You don't understand. I lost something really important. We left the line to go find it. Apparently, she has me confused with someone who cares. Never mind, Sharon. Come on. Where are we going? To the back of the line. But we'll never get in then. And what about my mother's earring? We have to try to get another one before she finds out. Yes, a very popular style. If we could find another pair, that would be so great. There, there, look. Ah, yes. This is great! They're perfect! How much are they? 125. Dollars? Oh, what do we do now? You girls think about it. Ling Jules? Yes? Yes. I don't have that kind of money. What am I gonna do? If I tell my mom the truth, she's gonna flip out. Well, what about... You know. Maria, just reach over, grab them, and head for the door. Are you crazy? Just remember to take off the tag. That's what triggers the alarm. What makes you so sure it won't go off? Have I ever gotten caught? Names. Sharon Spitz. Maria Wong. They seemed like such nice girls. We're very sorry, Mr. Ling. We didn't mean to do anything wrong. Sorry isn't going to cut it, girls. You've committed a serious crime. Are we going to jail? Depending on whether Mr. Ling here presses charges, that will be up to the judge. The uh, judge? How about we start by calling your parents? Hello? Mom, it's me, Sharon. Remember, your only daughter? Mom didn't yell at me. She didn't even psychoanalyze me. What she did was way worse. <sighs> the silent treatment. She was so ashamed, she didn't even want to look at me. Suddenly, I had a whole new respect for my big brother. Here he was, willing to wear a hot, stinky costume so he could save up to buy a car. 
What made me think that I was so special I could just take things without working for them? After what happened today, I was probably going to end up in a juvenile delinquent center. And on top of that, I still owed my mom an earring. And now, the moment we're all waiting for, the winner of TV3's talent search is... The Amazing Amber and Company! Luckily, Mr. Ling decided to spare us. He said if we were willing to work hard to pay for another earring, we would learn our lesson. And boy, did we. In the end, the closest we got to fame was throwing out TJ the VJ's takeout coffee cup. For now, that was close enough. <laughs>